Vroom, 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 vroom. That's my impression of a car and driving a car. And why am I doing that? Because we're doing a game review. This week we're reviewing Forza 6. Uh, an Xbox One exclusive, obviously. Nice little disc here. Yay, yay, yay. So, um, the first off, this game is obviously for people who want to race and drive a realistic car simulator. That's what Forza is. Uh, there's lots of different cars, all different kinds of makes, so you don't have to worry about that. They even have downloads. They even put the NASCARs in there um, recently. Uh, you know, if, you, if you're into NASCAR and you want to download that pack, obviously it costs extra money, but, you know, they have that even on there. Um, and it's basically one of the most realistic simula uh, racing simulators out there. Now, where's my gripes with this game? I do have a couple gripes. My first gripe is the tire wear in the game. So if you know anything about driving, you know the longer that you drive, the worse your tires get, okay? And if your tires get too bad, then you may pop your tire. Well, in this game, at least to this point that I've played it, so far there has been no tire popping, which is kind of um, disappointing because I think that that's something that's realistic and that should be in the game. So that's one downside, and that's the only real downside that I'll give at this point. Other than that, it's very realistic. Um, you know, it's hard to drive. If you're not good into driving games, this game is definitely not for you. Um, you know, it, 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 it's really good. If, you love, if, you, if you've ever played a Forza game, go get it. You'll love it. Um, if you're not really into racing games, don't get it. You won't like it. It's not a Need for Speed arcade type game. It's hard. You won't. You need to, learn, you need to know how to shift to go faster and you well you can put it on automatic but you know it's not one of those games where you can hit the wall five times and you'll be okay if you hit the wall you're done so um it's very realistic in that regard obviously you can get a steering wheel for this i don't have one because you know it's extra money and i'm just you know there's no place i don't have any place for a steering wheel so there's no point really so um what would i give this on my my review well without a doubt out of 10 stars out of 10 mumble stars i'm going to give this actually i'm going to give this an eight it is a driving game. It's very realistic. The, like I said, I did not like the fact that they missed on the tire part. That was very important to me. You know, I, I just think that would be cool. Um, and yeah, that, that I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 stars. It's still a great game. If you love racing games, you should go definitely buy it. Uh, excuse me. You should go definitely buy it. And um, yeah, just, uh, you know. It, it's one of them fun games that basically is exactly what it says. They have all kinds of different racetracks in there. The, well, one thing that I should mention in this is the rain. The rain driving is really cool. I've never seen that in a game before where it's been so realistic. Where you lose control of your car if you hit a puddle. That's really, really cool. That is one thing that, you know, far stands above all the rest of the Forza, in my opinion, because of the, the rain. But everything else is just another stand of Forza. You know, not too many upgrades. They did some cool things. You know, it's got great graphics. Uh... Everything that you could want from a, a, a car racing game. Alright guys, this has been another Mumbles Game Review. I want to thank you all for watching. Um, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, as always, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at the underscore Mumbles underscore. And yeah, this is going to be Mumbles signing off. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.